Terrence Jenkins contacted me on Skype and he said, Gail, can you send us a transcript of all the conversations we've had with Jesus on Skype, just unedited? And so I started doing that and um, he, he, uh, he said, he told Zach, he said, Gail can just send us the transcripts because she's got them all. She saves all our chats on Skype. Uh, and it's true, I do. I like I like copy and paste them and I put them in a separate Word document. But I went and looked over them and I noticed some of them are really dis, um, kind of disorganized and confusing. And so I've been going in and editing them. Uh, eliminating stuff so that so it'll read well, so that somebody can read it and, under, and understand exactly how the conversation went. But they are pretty much unedited, though I did have to take some stuff out. So anyways, uh, I mean, I decided to publish this as a Kindle book. I got so excited about the project, and I'd kind of already started because I was posting a lot of my chats with Jesus at my Facebook page. And I got so excited about the project, I thought, wow, you know, we have had the privilege to meet with Jesus. How many people get to meet with Jesus? And I hear that Lori McBride and the evil Jesuits are saying, oh, you've been meeting with a fraud. He's not the real Jesus. But um, from what I understand, they're using the transcripts. I've heard brain to brain, and this may be inaccurate. They're using the transcripts in court to prove that I'm meeting with the real Jesus. And the way they're doing that is that seminaries like Dallas Theological Seminary and John MacArthur Seminary, you know, who really know the Bible well, they are, they are going through the transcripts of my conversations with Jesus and saying, hey, you know, we can't say 100% for sure that this is, you know, Jesus that she's met with, but we'll say this much, based on our knowledge of the Bible and theology, there is nothing about this Jesus that negates anything in the Bible. In other words, while we can't say with 100% certainty that this is Jesus that she's been meeting with, we think it's very likely that it is because he just, he's just so consistent to the Bible record of, about Jesus and what he's gonna, what he's like, what he will be like when he comes in, you know, the tribulation and the final battle and all that. And they, the, and Jesus, when he met with us, he ta he talked about all sorts of things. He would give us advice about how to please him now in the 21st century. And um, he told me that he said, Gail, you and your men are going through what the tribulation saints will be going through. And I said, Jesus, why have you been meeting with us? I, you know, during the church age, I thought you didn't do your signs and wonders anymore, that that was just for the Jewish nation. And he said, the reason I'm meeting with you all is because Satan has been interfering. And so I have to go in there and undo some of his damage. And he said, Satan's interfering with you and your men because, because you're doing so much damage to the Jesuit order. The Jesuit order is Satan's baby. And um, so anyways, so um, I, I'm working on it. And I decided to make it into a Kindle book. Oops. Let me go show you my Kindle. I got a new Kindle from my, fr my Patreon friend. Okay, let's swipe. To, I love it. It makes my job so easy. Let's go to the cover. Here's the cover that I designed for the Kindle book. Brent Spiner types what Jesus says. And um, here's the um, table of contents thus far. You may say, have you published it yet? No, I'm able to get a, a draft as I work on the book. I'm able to uh, load it to my Kindle, the, the draft, and so I can read it off my Kindle and edit it. What I'll do is I'll read the book as, as it is on my Kindle. I'll see the mistakes, then jump to my computer and make corrections to the manuscript on the computer. And every day I upload a revised version of the book to Kindle, get the new file, read it on Kindle, and try to catch all my mistakes. And I love having the Kindle. It makes it so much easier for me to edit. 
because I have found in editing uh, books that if I try to read it off my computer screen, I don't, for some odd reason, there's nothing like having a book in your hand when you want to edit. There, there have been times in the past when I have published a book and then I received <coughs> the paperback in the mail and I catch mistakes in the paperback, which I didn't catch on the computer. I don't know why that is. So um, it's wonderful. And Kindle's is good as having it in paperback because I, I can, um, so like if I touch one of these here, it'll take you, this is Table of Contents with Kindle. You just touch it, it takes you right to the chapter. Let me just do it this way. Oh, see? Oh, there's the chapter. I touched the link and took, took it right. There's the chapter it went to. And this is what it looks like. I'm leaving it pretty unedited because I want people to know exactly, you know, I want them to know that this really happened. This was a real Skype. You know, it's not just some story. And by leaving the time in there, in print and all that, it makes, it creates the impression that this is truly nonfiction. And so anyways, Dallas Seminary has been saying, wow, from what I understand, most of Dallas Seminary has made a sworn statement saying that they believe that I've been meeting with the real Jesus based on what they've read from this book that I'm right, working on right now. They said there's, there, he has done nothing to violate what the Bible says about Jesus. In fact, he's done everything to authenticate that. See, um, this Jesus that we meet with is amazing. I mean, you, you're going to have to read the book. He's, 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 he predicts the future, even the near future, with 100% accuracy. It's just amazing. And he... Um, he uh, he advises us about medicine. He advises us about how to interpret the Bible. Um, and basically, here's what I'm basically here's what I'm covering in the book. He first started meeting with us, basically indirectly, December 27, 2011. He executed Zach Knight, who was trying to rape me. And Zach Knight sent a taser net over to my car, and it ricocheted, went back to Zach Knight, killed Zach Knight, and took out Rule 13's arm. So the story starts off with Zach Knight dying because basically Jesus executed him. And then we had the then my the book next the next event in this book is the Matthew McConaughey Camilla Alves trial where Jesus Christ was on the witness stand. <laughs> And the way that trial ended is Jesus just just executed everybody in the all the bad Jesuits in the courtroom and they burst like blood bursts. And I and I've got my correspondence with my men about that. And then we had a church service where Satan showed up, and then Jesus showed up to rescue us, and I've got my correspondence about that. And then Jesus showed up later to let me know that Zach Knight was impersonating Jesus and had made love to me with black devil semen and impregnated me and Jesus aborted the babies. I have my, I've transcribed that. That At first I only had that in audio. I've transcribed that. His next meeting was March 9, 2012, where he gave me more instructions about brain-to-brain -brain communications. And I'm going to have to transcribe that. I only had that in audio. Um, and then... Um, I I also include events that happened where Jesus wasn't there, but I need to include them in the book so that you understand when Jesus did appear, the context of, you know, what he was talking about. So, um, and then there was a space battle in May 2012 where my men uh, almost died. And uh, that was, that was a wild battle. And Brent Spiner broke just about every bone in his body, and then Jesus did a miracle healing for him, and I have some conversations about that and about their experience there. And how finally, uh, in, in deep February 2012, Jesus had to back off, because after uh, Satan impregnated me, Jesus said, I'm going to have to back off, because the reason Satan is getting more direct with you, Gail, is because I've been getting more direct. So I'm going to make a deal with Satan. I'm going to back off, and he's got to back off. 
And um, that's the deal he's made with Satan. It's called a non-interference agreement. So ever since Fe uh, February 2012, he hasn't been doing as many miracles. Uh, as far as, you know, saving us with miracles, he's trying to help us to do it on our own. And he just guides us and gives us advice sometimes. And he only, he usually only shows up when he has to correct us or give us advice because we're not on his, we're starting to get off of his path. And I, that's all of that. You're going to basically, you know, did you all watch the movie Letters uh, to Iwo Jima? Letters of you, I forget what it's called. This is kind of like, like that. It's like, I'm telling a story, but using letters. And it's a very effective way to tell the story because Brent Spiner is such a good writer. He has written me so many letters describing catastrophic events he's been through, and he does such a good job. That's why I'm giving him co-author credit with this. So anyways, and then in 2013, we covered all sorts of stuff that happened. Um, Jesus stopped time for us. Basically, every time Jesus met with us is going to be covered in here. And I just felt like, you know, how many people meet with Jesus? And obviously, he's Jesus. That means that everything he says is really, really important. And I just wanted to preserve his words for posterity. In fact, I would even go so far as to say that this book is the Bible for the tribulation saints. Because once I asked Jesus, I said, Jesus... What advice should I give to the tribulation saints about how to follow you? And he said, Gail, I've ordained you and your men to be the examples for the tribulation saints to follow. And that's why I want you to make a video at least once a week. Share your life with the world, your struggles with the Jesuits, your love life with your men. He says, this is what I want you to talk about. And um, I have found as I've been going through these transcripts that, um, that, uh, I've been reminded myself of things Jesus said. This, these are the words of Jesus. I would not go so, I mean, you know, I have some exact quotes in here. And, and also, Jesus will only use Brent Spiner as his transcriptionist. He won't use anybody else. So apparently he knew I was going to make this book. It's a long book. It's like almost 400,000 words. The Bible's between 700 to 800,000 words. So that gives you an idea how big this book is. I'm going to let you all decide whether you want me to make a paperback and audio version. If I make an audio version, it's probably going to take me forever because <laughs> it's such a big book. Um, but anyways, uh, I've been working really hard on it, and it's been a challenge to obey the Gale commandments, but like, I'm going to have to get to bed soon. So um, it's basically every transcript of all of my dealings with Jesus and every letter that I got from Brent Spiner where he describes his dealings with Jesus. And Brent Spiner met with Jesus just about every day for lunch for years. And um, so I have a lot of Brent Spiner's correspondence in here. Jesus has really surprised us. And um, I know there's going to be people who say that this could not be Jesus, but I will say this. Just about every, from what I understand, just about every major theological seminary out there that's accredited and respected in the Christian community that have read what I've done thus far in this book believe that we've been meeting with the real Jesus. They said, this is just amazing. This, this uh, it just seems like Jesus to us based on our knowledge of the Bible or, and what, what the Bible says Jesus would be like. And, um, because when he, you have to read it. I am convinced I've been meeting with Jesus. I've read the Bible from cover to cover hundreds of times and it's Jesus. Besides, he predicts the future and he never, he's never wrong. Even the near future, he'll tell us, well, this is what's going to happen in the next couple months, you guys, and here's what you need to do. And it happens just like he says. I mean, only God can do that. So anyways, you all read the book and let me know if you want a paperback version.